everyone. I ordered a chicken pin from Amazon, and this is the condition it came in. See, it looks like it's been opened and then taped shut. Both ends are like this. There's a hoe there, and there's another hoe down below. So we're going to open this up, and hopefully all the parts are there. This is one of the reasons I really prefer to go into a store, see what I can get on display, and actually buy a box that looks like it's not been opened. But in these times when it's hard to get to the store, stores don't have what you want, they're almost empty in shelves, you have to go the next best thing. And that was this. So I'll put you over here and we'll start unpacking and see what happens. here. Actually, some instructions. I'm calling this a chicken coop. It's not coop. Oh, it's heavy. Well, it's going to be heavy enough to keep the raccoons away? That I don't know. Everything's here. I'm going to put you on pause while I read the directions. Okay, this comes with 12 different parts. It says it's best to do it with two people, but I'm doing it by myself, so we'll see how this goes. Uh, the two parts mirror each other. You slide these on like that. And this one goes in like this. Use the long rods that came with it. You get six of these. They slide in and that holds them in place.
and you do the same thing over here. Just slide them in through there. To attach the roof, hold up on these, put that over and in, and that holds your roof on. Now I'm not so sure if this is going to work as well as they say as far as the raccoons. It doesn't seem to be that substantial. So I may have to end up getting some carabinas and putting it together with those. Basically that's how it goes together. Then you attach the two sides with the remaining two rods and open up the doors and let your chickens through. They have a tarp that you can put over it to shade them. And hopefully this will be better than the one I have out there right now, which is about four, maybe five years old and falling apart. Okay, the bee bomb is blooming. We got the purple. And we got the red. Now I have not filled up most of the feeders since we've had the raccoons. Last count was six raccoons caught. But I did fill this one up and they're happy. And I redid the hummingbird feeder. But that's the only ones I've done. Got most of this weeded. I still have that little area there yet to go. And then that'll be all done. The front garden's already finished. Day lilies are blooming. And the ones in the back are blooming. Now I got the uh, run put together. I'm not for sure where I'm going to put it, but it looks nice. I have to put more. I only came with uh, six spikes to put in the ground to hold it, so I'm going to put more um, anchors into it. But this is what it's replacing. It's done well for to be as old as it is, but as you can see, the raccoons took the war completely off the top. Now I've had to put the pieces of board over the top of it. And I've gotten the thing up on top. They keep prying it up. And this part over here I made, which did good. But you can see they've also torn the hinges up. They tore that door in there completely apart. So I'll probably scrap this system and just add that other system to this area. The only problem is I haven't decided if I want to put the coop there or if I want to leave it where it's at when I turn it sideways. The reason being is that right now the way it is, when it rains the inside gets wet because of the direction of the rain and the fact that it's going down on a slope. I don't know if you can tell but it's got a pretty good angle, pretty good slope angle on it. So I like to eliminate that. So I just got to decide which of the two ways I'm going to do it and then put them together. And of course you've got those over there in the chicken park, which don't get along with these. No matter how I try, they will not get along. <laughs> 